Okay, sports fans, Hillbilly and Bozo catfishing here, guys. <laughs> Come here, Wiz. Get up here. Oh, get your bone. Come on, hurry. Hurry. Get your treat. Okay, get your treat. Get back up here. Come on. Uh, there he goes. All right, now he's back up here. Hang on your treat there, Wiz. All right, guys. Wiz is laying here on my lap this treat. All right, uh, I was going to do this outside, guys. It's already started raining. We got six days of rain. Um, guys, I went, I was, I went fishing last night. It's a drift fishing technique that I've not done for 30 years. Um, <clears throat> I say this in the video, but, uh, I didn't catch no fish. Y'all's welcome to watch this. It's for an idea on, on drift fishing. And it's something to spruce your bait up with an idea of sprucing your bait up to make it more attractive. Uh, watch the video. If you want to watch it, I hope y'all do enjoy it. Uh, if you do like it, give me a thumbs up. Any ideas? It's not raining where y'all's at. Maybe you guys can go ahead and go try this technique and do this. Uh, uh, it's going to be a while before I get a chance to do it again. That's kind of why it's taking me so long to do it. Uh, we've had that one good day yesterday, and I made up my mind to go ahead and go do it. So anyway, this is a video I've cut, I've clipped. I'm trying to go through now and put it together. Uh, show y'all just enough to get the idea of the point of, of what I did, what we do, and uh, the fun of it. I, I mean, I've, I've done it. It was fun. But I've never done it since. Uh, I did catch a fish the first time I done it on it. So, uh, anyway, here's your video, guys. I'm trying to put something out for y'all and uh, get something out there. And uh, hope y'all enjoyed the crappie again video that comes out just before this one. So, stay tuned, guys. We'll... Let me get this together. Do something for you guys. I kind of want to put this out. Just let you all know what the video ahead of time, what the video is about. Uh, so, I hope you watch it. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching for guys. Thanks a lot, guys and gals. Thanks to all my subscribers. Appreciate every one of y'all. You say weird? All right, guys and gals. Hillbilly and Bozo catfishing with Wizard. What, Wizard? There ain't nothing in there. Oh, yeah, there is here. Check your bone, Daddy found earlier. Here, I'll drop it together. Hang on, guys. Wizard's teasing with me. He tells me he wants the bone, then he drills those it on the floor. Oh, that's the one that's been on the boat. I'll get you another one here in a minute. All right, guys. Uh, we made it on the water. Uh, we went out this morning. I haven't put the video out yet, but we went out this morning, caught a few crappie, tested the crappie out again. Uh, we are out here on the lake. Uh, guys, we got six days of rain here in Oklahoma. Today, tonight is awesome. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and throw this out. Uh, this video has been in the making. I've been wanting to do this for the last two years. I just haven't had the time, the situation, and time to go do it. Or the boat, the boat. I mean, my boat was down there for a while. We worked on this for a while. So anyway, we've got a different, uh, I've got a different drifting technique that I'm going to show you guys that I do that's really fun if you, if you get a bite. Um, I've not done it in 30 years. I done it like when I was in my early 20s, and I, I haven't done it since. And I don't think nobody else does it. The only thing coming close to it would be uh, Hagen Grubbs' uh, bumping, how he bumps. It's be close to that. Uh, he's going one way, and I'm going to be going the other way with it. So, and also, um, I've got some stuff here. We're going to spruce our crappie heads up. We're going to do something special to them, uh, hopefully to put more scent out, more attracted to where they'll, uh, well, they might bite. We might get a bite better. So what I'm going to do now, guys, we'll do this intro here. I hope this gets out. I hope we catch one tonight. Um, we're going to run out here. I think what I'm going to do out here to my left guys here's the all right guys we're on we found us a spot we come into the wind 
we're 27, 20, 25 foot of water uh, out across here. And uh, I went into the wind and I kind of stopped seeing fish. So I stopped and I'm gonna let the wind blow me across. I think what this big long channel, if you can see it or not, and it's probably, we're just gonna have to blow across and then come back over here again to win and blow across. Hopefully it's gonna blow me long enough that we don't have to do that too often. We can keep me down going angled here quite a ways down. So uh, let's get started here. Uh, okay. This this rod has nothing to do with tonight's fishing. Uh, see how the wind's blowing me kind of like that. Uh, guys, I'm going to put... Put one extra rod out. Sports fans. But. Oh, sorry about that. Sports fans. Look at my ugly ass. Alright. Now. I gotta use my good knife. I went off left my cutting board and my knife. I had to play that fish right there, guys, just now. I played that fish and put the meat in the icebox, and I went off left my cutting board and my knife later at the house. Alright, we're gonna do this for a good Body sports fans. All right, we've got our regular jugging deal here. What we're going to do, we're going to drag this, guys. As we're dragging it. It's going to be, like I said, at an angle, and that bait's going to hang. Hopefully that there's about three foot off the bottom. Not seeing a lot right on the bottom. Most of them's four or five foot off. If I don't catch nothing this first round, uh, 
We'll have to raise this up. We'll have to put a bigger leader and raise it up. What we're going to do, guys, we're going to hold this rod. Oh, something just killed the top right there and busted the water. I don't know what that was. I didn't see it fast enough. Uh, guys, we're not going to have a bunch of rods out here playing your boards. I'm going to have one rod. We put an extra one out here, yeah. It's about 15 foot, about halfway, because that's what I'm seeing my fish. We're in 20, 25, 27 foot of water. And I'm seeing fish 15, 20 foot, very 20, 20, right, 25 foot. This here's about a foot, two foot, so they'll go down to it. So that rod's there, just extra foot in between. Hopefully something will we'll just check our variance here. Okay. Now, here comes the secret. I want a big piece of trophy here. Crap, now I'll get my ice pick all my dirty. I hope I catch some fish tonight with this will get out. Guys, we've got some wizard the other way. Hey, get, get back. Don't keep growling me either. Woo, boy, she drank. Oh, nasty. Wizard, get out of the way. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Oh. Yeah. Nasty. Woo. All right, guys. This is number one. I'm gonna be halfway across the lake before I get set up. All right, this is number one. We got a mouth there, man, a big old pocket of cavity. What that could be? I mean, that's, gosh, what is that? We got a chunk of liver. This is the first one. I ain't gonna tell you what the second one is, but we got a second one we're gonna try too. We're gonna take that liver. Oh, come here. No, you get back with. Man, I hope I catch some fish tonight. Jesus Christ. All right. Hey, it's all fitting. There you go, guys. We filled that mouth. We filled that mouth, fill that liver. And now we're going to go in through the mouth there, not through the nostril. This crap off my hand. Woo. Oh, starting so bad it's starting to smell like vinegar. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll sit here and we can do the. I got that one off this side. This one here is going to be off of this side. So. Knife in the water. Done done it once. Okay, that's where we're at for video purposes. Now I gotta restart, start, and restart my camera here, guys. Hang on. Uh, All right, boing, we're back. <laughs> Bling, we're back. Something ding, ling, ling, we're back. All right, guys. All right, there we go. What we done? my camera guys behind me or I guess I turned the light on tonight though and the light's gonna be right in the way uh, I guess I can turn it around and do it the other way tonight for now 
Hold on guys, I'm trying to fish. Not lose my phone. I don't know what's better here, having it back there, back there. Yeah, you all ain't gonna be able to see everything. Uh, Okay. Alright, y'all can see the tip of that rod. Uh, yeah, that's on bottom. All we're doing, guys, is see if I can run this trolling motor a little bit and keep me out in the channel out here where it's deep. Uh, if I didn't have that light bar in back there stuff, it'd be a lot better to set in the middle and go off the back. But, yeah, you can come up here with us. Come on. You'll like this kind of fishing. You can sit in Dave's lap. Guys, all we're doing, I don't know if you can. that down low enough maybe y'all can barely see the end of it signs behind me so you should have a good picture but anyway guys we're just we're going down here i'll just bounce that weight down the bottom and uh i got a death grip on this rod so I get a bite, he's going to be right up underneath the boat. I wish the boat would go sideways. But I figured I could keep it. I'd have to be on the other end. Oh. Yeah. Lizard, let's get down. Ooh. Okay guys, see if I can make this quick. This where I'm right here is where I'm just getting it set up the best. Uh, I use my trolling motor to keep the nose into the wind. You can see the wind blowing to me. I keep my trolling motor, keep my nose of the boat to the wind and let the wind blow me sideways. That's the best way to do this is to get your boat to blow sideways when you drift. Thanks. Okay guys, you can't see me, but you can see my rod. See the takedown if I get one. I'm going to use my trolling motor and 
we got this other rod back here behind us. It's it's about 15 to 18, 20 foot somewhere. So I'm gonna bounce this one down through here. Get my rod up and nothing, let out a little bit of line to where it's Drags a little bit. Guys, I'm just gonna put y'all on the tip of that rod and then I can turn it when I catch one. You sit it back, back break it tight down, y'all see it. And I'm just lifting that rod. Y'all see that rod tip. I'm just about lifting and dragging that weight. Now I've got an eight ounce on here. Uh, now that I got the boat sideways, it's kind of staying sideways. Awesome. Okay guys, I don't know if I say anywhere in the video, but the best part of this drift fishing technique is having the rod in your hand when you get that big takedown. Uh, feeling that at first initial bite, man, that's, that's where the fun and that's where the technique of this of this that's where the fun of this technique comes in at. thanks I ain't tell y'all this is Monday night and I'm missing freaking football Snowing, guys. We're getting 12 foot of water. We might have to. Still a lot of Okay, guys, we're good. All right, we're in 10 foot of water, so we'll just leave that one at 10 foot. And, uh, Are we moving at 0.4 mile an hour, half a mile an hour, so we are moving. There ain't much wind, so. Man. Okay, guys. That liver, gone. Guys, the liver and this here both got froze twice and it's been in an ice box for about a week. Actually, you probably still eat this. Guys, we got some bacon here. Oh, greasy, oily bacon. I 
pipes down in there and between them gills and that water out of his mouth. That old grease and stuff out of that how that bacon's gonna freaking we got we Very big waves, it don't look like it kind of calms down out there, so we might drift for a while and quit. I'm gonna put my lights on here in a minute. But I can sit right here, stand or sit right here. Let her drift on that side of the boat. See my grass. We're 11 foot of water. We are going across, so we're going about across this way. I want to go now, guys. We're good. All right, sports fans, if I could put something together and just show this out, show what we're doing here, even though we didn't catch no fish, uh, that's a wrap, guys. So that's what we're doing, and just the base of hanging on to your rod while, while you're drifting down, man, just feeling that bite uh, is the only thing we're doing. And then wild idea of putting something in that crappie's mouth to enhance it. I mean, catfish dough, catfish bait. Chicken liver, something, soak a rag and blood and put it in there or something. So that's just the point of those and the idea of it. So trying to throw that out there to y'all. Thanks for watching.